hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has country like this. Wide open, wild stuff, and I love it. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. For me, hunting is the ultimate pursuit. We need to get out of here. This is danger zone. Who was the big bear? A connection with nature that only a hunter can experience. I've spent my entire life perfecting my skills, braving the elements in pursuit of my prey. The wild is where I belong. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. Join me and take the high road. This is Gamo's Coyote PCP air rifle. It's new, and I want to tell you about it. It weighs in, oh, it's a little over seven pounds topped off with scope. This particular model has a Gamo variable power scope on it. It has a built-in air tank, and you can tell how much pressure it has in from the gauge on the very front. The trigger is extremely smooth. It's about a two pound trigger. The safety is on the very front of the trigger inside the trigger guard. The wood on the stock is absolutely beautiful. It's got a nice soft recoil pad on it. It has virtually no recoil whatsoever. Uh, this rifle right here, I have it already sighted in with my favorite pellet. It's shooting a 14.4 grain pellet. Now this is a 22 caliber rifle and it's shooting this pellet somewhere around 900 feet per second. It's extremely accurate. I've already got it sighted in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take five shots of this target. I'm gonna show you what this rifle will do. And then what I'm planning on doing is going out tomorrow and actually taking this coyote rifle and hunting for a feral hog. One thing this rifle features is a 10 shot rotary magazine. Look at that. Now that's three quarter plywood down there. You can see that pellet is going all the way through it. So with the Coyote fully charged, it has enough power in the pellet to drive it right through a sheet of three quarter plywood. All right, this is some pretty good shooting right here. You can see the size of the group. It kind of lays them out horizontally, but this is a five shot group right here. And a quarter covers it up. That's about a one inch group. And this is what I like. I've uh, found the right pellet that this gun likes and it's a great pellet to hunt with. And so as far as this one inch group, I call that a hunter zero and a hunter zero to me is where I know the distance I can shoot to where I know every single shot of my group, I can keep it one inch or less. The reason why that's so important, because especially when you're shooting an air gun, we want to make ethical shots to take down animals. So with a one inch group, you know that you can shoot a squirrel in the head or a rabbit in the head very easily. But also with a feral hog, which I'm going to be hunting, I've got a target about the size of an egg. So this is very adequate to be able to, at 25 yards, know where my pellet's going to hit every single time. That's my hunter zero. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconics. 10X high performance hunting gear, record rack deer and elk feed, Burt Coyotes Luminoc, supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Tannerite, and Bloodsport. The High Road will be right back. This fish property is a working cattle ranch, uh, so there's a lot of cattle feed, so in turn that means a lot of hogs. My name is Billy Reeves. I own Hog Wild Adventures. We're 45 minutes north of Houston, Texas. I specialize in hog hunts. All right, it's the middle of the day, and I am in a travel corridor, much like you would hunt white-tailed deer. I know you're gonna think that I am uh, pulling your leg, but there are more hogs here per acre than any other place on earth I've ever been. You know, when Keith comes out, he's always got something new to try. Well, he does a lot of air gun hunting. On this hunt, uh, Keith brought a new pellet gun with him. Uh, it's called a Coyote. 
by Gamo. It looks like a deer hunting rifle, nice beautiful wooden stock, and it is a 22 caliber Gamo PCP air gun. Well, he's told me how accurate it is, but uh, seeing's believing. We'll we'll see. On this travel corridor, I've got a there's a feed lot back over here for cattle, and the hogs will get out here in this big open area and feed as they go towards a feed lot later on this evening. I've got this little pop-up line set up inside a little mod of trees. Hopefully, a hog will come walking by here. I've got some feed dumped out here in front at about 20 yards, so hopefully a hog will stop by here long enough for me to get a shot and put one in his ear hole. Oh, there's a bunch of hogs right there. There's a bunch of them coming in to the left. Holy smokes, look at all the pigs. PCP air rifle into the High Road Hall of Fame. This dude right here is freaking accurate. It is absolutely the most accurate air rifle I've ever shot from Gamo, period. This dude right here will flat get it done. Look at that. That's gonna be a really good one for the barbecue pit right there. All right, let's go take a look at him up close and personal. Oh, looky there, dropped like a stone. This rifle right here is a wonderful addition to my collection. It's the Gamo Coyote PCP, and it is one fine shoot piece of equipment. My Hunter Zero is 25 yards where I can hit every single time a one inch spot. And this hog was actually facing me, and when he was facing me, I had a spot about the size of an egg right here on the front of his head to put it right in his brain. Went down instantly, got great penetration. Uh, the Hunter Zero is 25 yards. Uh, this pig right here was about 20 yards, so deadly accurate. I know exactly where it's shooting, and I would highly recommend this rifle to any air gunner that likes to plink around or shoot small game or small hogs like this. And uh, it's just a fine piece of equipment. It's got my approval. Mm -hmm. You know, a wild hog is great table fare, you know, and especially here at Hog Wild because they, they're mainly grain fed. When Keith comes, he, he always takes his, his pigs home with him, but he's been bringing his food saver, packaging it up, getting it all frozen and everything so he can take it home and enjoy it with his family. I, I encourage everybody to take their pigs home with them, and most people do. One of the things I like to take along with me on a hunting trip is a vacuum sealing system. This particular model is made by GameSaver and the model is the big game. This is a great unit. It works well on the go, just like we are today out in hunting camp or whether you're at home. It's a, it's a great little unit. What I've done, I've taken a perfect eating size hog and uh, what it'll do, it'll keep the meat fresh four to five times longer than just normal uh, freezer paper would. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna start by quartering this little hog up, and then we're gonna get it in pieces. I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to, again, put it in a vacuum sealer bag, because I love putting this big piece of meat on for a party. This roll of bags right here is a pleated bag, and I'm going to need that in order to put this big carcass in. And this right here is gonna be ready for the next warring party. 
I'm Billy Reeves with Hog Wild Adventures and The High Road with Keith Warren. We'll be right back. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite, Nemo Arms, the entire line of Food Saver Game Saver vacuum sealing systems, BSA Optics, Camo Adult Precision Air Rifles, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back.